Hey everybody, we are back here at the uh, Guitar Gallery in Andertons and today we're gonna have a look at the new Murphy Labs SGs. So, to the video room. <laughs> SGs, man. You Smoking. need an SG. What? Wow. I'm putting oh. it out there now. So, uh, Gibson, please. please. Cesar, <laughs> JC, marketing department, whoever you are, can please, we, please, can we keep one of these? Because um, these are joyous. Anyway, every welcome time, back. Man. Every time. We're back in the video know, room. Back in the video room. Every another time. episode of Anderson's TV. And we are um, smashing through the new Murphy Lab aged guitars from Gibson. Um, if you haven't seen the other videos we've done, we've done a video on the 58 Les Paul, we've done a video on the 335s, we've done a video on the 59s and the 60, we've got the SGs. I'm not sure what order they're going out in, but up there in the corner uh, mm. will be one of the ones that's already out. Probably exactly. the 58 one, because that's yeah. where we explain in most depth yes. what's going yes, on. Yes, and yes. you know what? If JC... <laughs> I was, was here in the video room right now. What would he say, Pete? He would say, please like and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, ling, 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 and like the videos because we deserve that sometimes. That's what he'd say. Although he'd say yeah. it in a much more American accent and uh, looking slightly Nicholas Cage. Just looks really uh, cool. Yes. Okay, Tom Murphy has been involved with the Gibson Custom Shop pretty much since its inception in the early 90s. Um, and he probably more than anyone at Gibson, has pioneered the aging technique of understanding how all the old uh, nitro finishes used to react with time and age and wear, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and what they've done for 2021 is created what's called the Murphy Labs. So this idea, whereas before, there was a bit of a bottleneck really at, at Gibson where, you know, if, if Tom, if you wanted Tom to actually age it himself, you know, there'd be this mega waiting list. So they decided to literally and big blank check. Here you go, Tom, go and set up Murphy Labs. 
so it's now it's now part of it's like an extension of the Gibson Custom Shop. So the guitars themselves are still built mm -hmm. in the Custom Shop, but then uh, if you want the aging process applied to your guitar, it goes to Murphy Labs. Tom has a, a little team of highly, highly yeah. trained expert people who will oversee carried, everything. <laughs> they'll be carried in from the uh, custom shop by uh, virgins in white linen oh, clothes. With rose petals rose thrown petals. on the floor and in front of them. And then one at a time they get yeah. carried in like this and laid on a um, table, a bed of uh, fluffy towels and so, anyway, whatever. Um, not everything from the custom shop is available through Murphy Lab and on the SG, uh, I don't think there's any sense that there's like an SG standard or anything anything like that. But whatever SGs are available are now going to come on screen. Uh, but the two that we've got here are 64 SGs with the amazeball maestro trem system. I absolutely love this. What, but, you know, we're not going to go you. into necessarily, is this the best tremolo system ever designed? I suspect it uh, has a character and perhaps, you know, it's not exactly a Floyd Rose, but does it look like the best trem system ever? And Yes, on that one, you know, you've got to hand it to Gibson and, and it just, it's such a stunning piece of artwork with the engraved plate here. Yeah. And so, and it, the, 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 it, yes. Pete and I get a bit carried away in these videos, falling in love and sort of forgetting that we've probably yeah. done videos of the basic custom shop versions of all these guitars, if there is such a thing as a basic custom shop version. But I kind of want to, I just want to sort of, um, Murphy, La you know, the guitars themselves wank, wank. are, are part of the custom shop range and, and you you know we've been demoing and selling custom shop guitars for a long time they're beautiful beautiful guitars there's something um th th it's very very difficult to sort of put a linear curve on a screen and go well that's the price and that's the quality and therefore if it's twice the price it should be twice the quality we, we've kind of we know that's not possible and the higher up the price scale you go the bigger the gap is between the price and the quality difference but there's just something keeps coming back and nibbling us or whatever, you know, like that itch on the back of your head where... The wife? Yeah, <laughs> no, you, you know, whether it's a Les Paul or a 335 or an SG or whatever, as wonderful as, you know, a good American standard model might be, there is just this thing that happens when you go into custom shop. And yeah. it's, it, it's, it's just a connection, I think. It's very difficult. Unless you've tried one, it's almost, I don't think I could explain no. it. So it's you, like I keep saying about my 335, which is a great guitar and I've used it around the world and all that stuff and it's done sessions and played on loads of albums. Every time I pick up a custom shop version of a 335, the crowd just goes bow selector, man. It's just something else. It's, some, it's a different level. Obviously, the, the, we want to talk about the aging more so maybe than the, the actual model on these. Well, we'll try and do a bit of both, but I don't really want to you know, if you think, oh my gosh, that's the one of the best sounding, coolest looking guitars ever, but I don't like the whole aging thing. As I said, you know, before, all of these guitars start in the custom shop. Mm -hmm. You can absolutely have it in a in a pure gloss or a VOS finish if that's what you'd like. Yeah. And it's only when you get into aging that you have to go over to Murphy Labs. Um, so the two we've got here are what's called ultralight aging. So ultralight is where there's really hardly any signs of damage as such. You might get the odd speck, but you're really just buying a guitar Tiny with, with lots of that there. sort of um, lacquer cracking on there and, and the sort of the tarnishing of the, of the hardware. <laughs> yeah, and, and again, I think in certainly in some of the photographs on the Gibson website, they're not shot from an ideal angle to really see all that lacquer cracking. So a uh, uh, big shout out to our photography department. I think we do a really great job of photographing what we get. Um, anyway, so you can get ultralight aging on either the blue or the, the cherry. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why, and I'm sure if you go made to measure, you can have whatever you want. But for some reason, the blue is available in the next level up, which is just called light aging, where mm -hmm. you'll, you'll see generally a similar amount of lacquer cracking, but a few more signs of dings. And then the red you have to goes up to the heavy aging so it skips out the light aging um, and that's where again if you go and watch one of the Les Paul Tom Murphy videos we've done um, that looks much more like a guitar that's been properly played for you know 60 70 years yeah um, they're not doing a standard within custom shop so the idea is you've got the two 64s here with the um, trem systems on it 
you've got a stunning three pickup 63 in white with the gold hardware uh, and you've got a junior you know, with two P90s on it, which is kind of cool as well, which I also think is in white. But yeah. those will all appear on screen mm. uh, as we have chatted about it. Yeah. But do you want to do some tones, Pete? And I do. just give that vibrato a, a, a bit of a wobble. It's such a good sound. Have man. a listen just to it without anything on. Just, just. What? I've got to listen to it without anything on. Okay, hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the world doesn't want to see oh, that. God, I didn't want to. I didn't, I, as soon as I said it, I was like, oh no, here we go again. Yeah, here absolutely. we go again. Yeah, uh, Sasha, Ivantic, this one is for you. This is the Smurfy Lab. Smurfy God, Labs. It's, it's quite funny, actually. Smurfy Labs. Uh, so, clean tone on the bridge pickup. I'm just going to go straight to the bridge because that's where the magic is, isn't it? Clean. In the DP40. Just nice, isn't it? Uh, again, you can play around with the stuff, but I don't want to do that. None of these so. custom shop Gibson guitars are ice picky on the bridge pickup, are they? They've got the brightness yeah. with, it, with enough warmth and bell likeness for them not to be unpleasant on the ear. Let's try. Sorry, everybody wants it without any... No pedals. Pedals, so you are going to get it without any pedals. I was just turning the uh, tone down slightly. That's the volume. That's delicious. Because that, that, that doesn't change the sound. I don't know if they got those uh, kind of, what is it called? Um, pops in there that, that doesn't take the treble away. Or... Down to nine. Ten. Ten on the tone. Seven on the tone. Sounds. That's great, isn't it? A bit it's of a uh, bit of a gain. Again, tone dialed off slightly. Tone full. Still only on this pickup back here. So I put an Origin Effects Cali on just to get a little bit of compression. Compression. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of. I can't think of a better word for it, so I'm just going to say yeah. what the pedal is. Yeah. Compression. <laughs> but I'll say it with it with a uh, you know with love and affection. So, middle, middle position. Oh. Hello? Hello? Yeah, so they're obviously not as uh, potted as you... As... Let's take the pedals off first, for all you uh, non-pedal aficionados out there. You non-believers. <laughs> <laughs> non-believers you don't in believe pedals. in pedals, yeah, it's yeah. for you. Yeah. We got one or two pedals, that's enough. Like this MXR tremolo. Starlight. Take the pedals oh, off again. So it's great. It's, it's I so, listen to I that all day. It. I know. I could play with this all day. Oh, it's, 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 neck. 
Ja, ska vi se. This arm is very stiff. This, I would probably would, untighten that a little bit. I was bit. just thinking about that. So the, Sorry. If you do decide to, to, to dive in for one of these, you know, the, the tremolo system is pretty, I want to say agricultural, but I don't know if that's the right <laughs> word. But it's, it's a bent piece of metal. Yeah. And then the saddles are kind of like pushed over this bent piece of metal. And the tremolo arm, which as Pete said, is, is pretty stiff, although I guess you could- You can unscrew, you can unscrew that a little that. bit, yeah. Just basically bends the metal up and down. It's incredible, isn't um, it? So it uh, but it is what it is, and, and it that's what was happening back in those man. days where, you know, people were trying to design different trem systems. But it's not like, you know, it's not like a Bigsby or a Fender trem system based on springs. It's just it's literally just a bent piece of metal. <laughs> Here we go. Here's, a, here's mm. the neck pick up with a Dane at <laughs> nine o'clock. the origin effects compressor. <laughs> It's not there, by the way. It's not there. Man. You know what? Um, These guitars, man. I think what we need on screen now is a picture of JC with his Father Christmas hat on going, No worry, Liam Pete. I'll send you the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Merry <laughs> Christmas. And then he's still not the chimney. <laughs> so... <laughs> anyway, look, man, that, that's it. That, that's these. I can't wait till we get the three pickup white SG in because I want to play with that too. Oh, yeah. Um, but man, these are... Yes, I mean, congratulations, Gibson, on this whole Murphy Labs thing. It's, it's really injected a whole new level of desirability and sexual, gorgeous, Sexuality. sexual chocolateness yeah. into uh, the range. <laughs> sexual um, chocolateness. I, I, again, uh, don't I forget that these, there, there is... Uh, so that, again, I, I don't know if I, I don't think I said this in the in the fifty eight video. So right now, there are about fifty codes in the Murphy price list. So that's across different models and different colours and stuff. So it's not a massive range, and those are kind of you know Andertons will have all those kind of coming through. Um, I mean, incredibly, incredibly long lead times. So don't expect like you know m mountain loads of them to come in mm. but then beyond that what what gibson have is what's called it's made to measure program so if the, if you're just going oh it's not quite you know i wanted that with that color and that aging and it's not in the catalog don't panic you can we can still make that dream come true you just have to con uh, contact one of the guys in our guitar gallery ask about the gibson made to measure program and they'll spec it up for you get your price and if that's what you want if you literally want tom murphy to paint the guitar himself, oh, yeah, give it the full that. heavy aging through um, the Murphy Labs, and you want the guitar of your dreams, and you've got you know the dough to make those dreams happen, yeah. then you know it's all possible. It's Anywho, less than a good night out. Well, I don't for know about some that. People. That is a tremendous. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> if you've got the helicopter pad in your back garden and going out is about going over to Paris and then coming back on your private jet, whatever it is like that, then yes, then one of these is absolutely less than a good night out. <laughs> Uh, that's it. I don't. We're, we're playing we're too much. So we're going to get on, uh, and yeah. this may well actually be the last. Should we do it in that order? So 58, 59, 335 SG. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is the last of the four uh, videos that we've done. So again, links below. You can see the video. If you've missed one, we we did the 58 Les Pauls where we deep dived a bit more into the whole Murphy Lab thing. <laughs> we did the 59 Les Pauls. <laughs> We did the 335s yeah. and Hallelujah. SGs. Uh, there we go. Hope and then you're enjoying hey, these videos. Comparison. Yes. We're gonna we're gonna throw in a comparison at some point. Pete's uh, Murphy, actual Tom Murphy, age Les Paul versus Murphy Labs. What's, um, you, 
Yeah, exactly. Like you guys, no, like what's I'll your favourite you, colour? You, you can screen you you can screen grab that and go and get it tattooed and or something. And I've, <laughs> epic. With my T-shirt that says Gibson, Gibson, right, Gibson. Come on, let's go. The more you age the, the blue, the greener it gets. There's a song. The more you <laughs> age the blue, <laughs> the greener it gets. Just like my grandma's hair. <laughs>